Hey everybody, welcome to Technology and Toys, and uh, the background is going to be a little different today because I'm shooting at a different table today. Uh, today's video is going to be an unboxing and setup of Dell's Chromebook 11 5190. Right here, very clear branding. This is a Chromebook, so the specs aren't going to be as powerful as you know most things that I would probably take a look at on this channel. It's got an Intel Celeron, I believe it's dual core at 1.1 gigahertz, 4 gigs of memory, and a 16 gigabyte hard drive, and that's not a hard drive, it's, uh, I think it's EMMC. It's either MSATA or EMMC, so it's not an actual spinning drive. So let me just grab my makeshift unboxing knife because I'm not allowed to have a knife where I currently am. And we'll get into the box. All right, we're gonna pull out this little sleeve right here. And this is our charger. In this bag, you get the AC cable. Unwrap that. And this is a three foot cable. So your standard three prong AC to whatever the hell this is called. And then we have a 45 watt brick and this is a about about six feet not not quite six feet just a bit shy this is a usb type c cable and then these little dots on either side of the cable are um power indicators and then here's quite possibly the best part of the unboxing we get three separate instances of peeling porn there's one here's three love doing this. So here's your power brick and I'm gonna plug in the cable. Conveniently there's an outlet right behind me. Ooh, that's sparking a little bit. That's not good. And then you can see the LED lights up. This doesn't change color while it's charging so I mean I guess it helps you find it in the middle of the night. I guess that's pretty cool. Reach back into the box here and expertly pull out all the stuff that's inside the box that's not the Chromebook. You get flavor packet, quick start guide, it tells you to plug it in and it tells you all the ports on it, but we're going to do that anyways in a second here. And you get some warranty, safety, and regulatory. Don't think anyone ever reads those. And here is the Chromebook itself. I'm going to take off these little ends and let's move all of this off to the side. It comes in this little plastic bag, just peel the tape back, open the bag up, slide it out, and uh, here we are. This is the Chromebook. I believe they make a two-in-one version of this, so like you can flip it all the way around. This is not that version. On the left side, we have a power indicator. We have a USB Type-C port, USB Type-A 3.0 port, a micro SD card slot, and a headphone jack. And then on the right side, we get, appears to be a lock, another USB Type-C port, and another 3.0 Type-A port. Not much on the back or on the lid, so let's open the lid. And then this is the inside of the Chromebook. You have your Chrome-specific function keys, your search key. The keyboard feels nice. Um, it's not as comfortable for me as my MacBook keyboard, um, but you know, this is significantly less expensive than my MacBook is slash was. Trackpad is small but serviceable. Again, not the same size as my MacBook, but you're kind of getting what you pay for. We have an 11.6 inch LCD panel. I believe this is 768p and then up top we also get a webcam so i'm actually gonna put this one off to the side and plug it in because i'm going to assume that it's dead and just for the occasion i have another one over here that is fully charged so we're going to take a quick look at the setup experience so we're gonna take a quick look at the setup experience let me uh move my tripod a little bit all right so um i apologize if the lighting is horrible um, this is my first time shooting here, and this is kind of my preliminary video for figuring everything out. This is welcome. 
uh, lets you pick your language and your location. You get some accessibility settings here. And we're gonna click on Let's Go. I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi real quick. And we get the Google Chrome OS Terms of Service, which no one reads. Click Accept and Continue. It's gonna check for some updates. Um, doesn't look like there actually are updates. And then I'm gonna sign into the Chromebook. All right, and it says we're signed in. Just got a notification on my wrist, so we're good. Chrome sync, bookmarks, history, passwords, other things will be synced from your Google account, personalized Google services, uh, accept and continue. Google Play apps and services. Ooh, that's nice. So I believe that this runs Android apps, like most Google Chromebooks do. Howdy, welcome to the Chrome family. This is no ordinary computer. Um. I mean, I guess you're technically right. This Chrome device was designed to deliver the best experience of the web to you. Now that's kind of what Chromebooks are for. It's just really web browsing and other small tasks. Click take a tour. This window down here says get to your apps fast. Use the launcher to quickly get to new apps and activities. To get here by keyboard, press Alt plus Shift plus L. Check your Chromebook status. Manage connections, updates, and settings with the status tray. To get here by keyboard, press Alt plus Shift plus L. S. Explore your Chromebook, discover more or get answers, select question mark for help. Um, I think I'm gonna click finish. Got a download happening. We're downloading the Google Play Store. I accept. So we're gonna, real quick, can I, can I shrink this down? Oh, oh, okay. So we have the Android App Store here. You can scroll through a bunch of recommended apps. I would imagine playing games on this computer might not be the greatest experience um but we'll uh we'll try it over the next week or so and uh I'll let you know now here is the launcher this wow okay this has definitely changed since the last time i actually used a chromebook so, and then you click on this arrow to expand it and here's some of the things that you get well this is this is really what you get stock brand new um you do have a file system though so like you can go in and you can edit things in your drive i uh, see i have a couple things here my downloads folder images videos audio all kinds of stuff this hasn't changed much since i last used a chromebook and then of course because it's a chromebook you have google chrome as your browser so just a test we're gonna go to youtube.com slash c slash tech Technology Toys, 178 subs. All right, we're 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 getting up there. Watch one of my videos. Well. Oh, oh. Okay, this is gonna be great for a week. Let's try this again. Welcome to Technology and Toys, and today's okay. video is going to be a tutorial on how to install- They're not the worst speakers I've ever heard, but they're definitely not the best. They are downward firing, so these are the speaker grills. The display, it does look pretty bad from what I can tell on the screen of my camera, but that's probably because my autofocus is messed up and I didn't change that before I shot this video, so that's on me. Being used to my MacBook, this is significantly lower quality, but again, MacBook was $1,800 when it launched, and this is like $360, but you can get it for like $250-ish, depending on if you're an educator or not. It's a lot cheaper, and as far as specs go, it's a lot weaker, but that's kind of the point of Chromebooks, you know? Like, they're not supposed to be powerhouses. They're meant for web browsing and maybe light file management. So I've decided that I'm gonna be using this for about a week. The next week or so, I'm gonna try to use this as much as I can. I'm definitely not gonna edit my videos on here. I don't think there's been a decent video editor that's launched for Chrome since I last used a Chromebook like three years ago. Uh, and this definitely does not have the power to do what I need it to do. But for just general web browsing and file management, I think I'm gonna try to use this as much as possible. And then maybe a week or two later, I'll post a review on it. But this was just the unboxing and setup. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like subscribe, comment, tell me, do you have a Chromebook? Does your school use Chromebooks? What do you think of Chrome OS? All that good stuff, let me know down below. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.